well got an interesting development of, em of events over in America. Turns out the Talmudic Jewish lobby over in America is once again lobbying to try to shut down freedom of speech. I've shown this in other videos, and yet here we have another beautiful example of the, you know, their attempts, which have really have been going on for the past 2,000 years. You can read all through the Book of Acts. They're trying to shut down preaching of the gospel. But in this case, they're trying to pass the Anti-Semitism Awareness Act. And basically, they're codifying the IHRA definition of anti-Semitism, uh, which would actually criminalize preaching the Bible. And I'll explain why in a minute. This is, so the IHRA is the International Holocaust Remembers Alliance, and they have their working definition of anti-Semitism. And they have a whole list of things that, you know, you know, would probably be valid ways to define anti-Semitism, like, you know, violence against Jews and everything else. But one such thing they have listed is using symbols and images associated with classic anti-Semitism, i.e. claims of the Jews killing Jesus or blood libel to characterize uh, Israel or Israelis. Um, saying the Jews killed Jesus is anti-Semitic, and they're trying to codify this definition into criminal law, penal code over in America. That would basically mean that quoting the Bible would now be outlawed. Why? Well, because the Bible says the Jews killed Jesus Christ. In fact, in Matthew chapter 27, verse 20 down to verse 25, the Jews themselves said, His blood be upon us and upon upon our children. You know, and other scriptures, like for example, First Thessalonians 2, verse 14 to 15, or sorry, 14 to 16, Acts 3, verse 12 to 15, Acts 4, verse 8 to 12, Acts 5, verse 26 to 30, and a whole host of other scriptures too, which implicate the Jews in killing Jesus Christ. You can't quote that now under this new law. So, not much has changed in the past 2,000 years.